climber is alive after surviving an 80-foot fall and breaking nearly every major bone in her body. But doctors say one part of her body remained virtually unharmed. 21-year-old Anna Parsons was visiting from New Zealand when she and her climbing partner decided to tackle the snake dike route of Yosemite's massive half dome. Her climbing partner told Outside Magazine that Parsons was climbing well until she accidentally climbed past an anchor in the rock that one would normally hook their rope into to help catch a fall. He explained that as she attempted to climb down toward the anchor, she slipped and fell around 80 feet until she was caught on belay. According to photos posted on a fundraising page set up by Parsons' family, she had multiple contusions and cuts, and both her legs were wrapped in casts. The fall broke her neck, spine, pelvis, and several of her ribs and toes, punctured a lung, and left her with several other injuries. Her left foot was also shattered, and she chose to have it amputated. Despite her injuries, Parsons stayed conscious throughout the accident and rescue. But how? Remember how doctors said there was a part of her body that was virtually unharmed? When Parsons fell, her partner said her helmet was completely demolished, but doctors said she miraculously didn't suffer any head trauma. Now, Parsons has a long road to recovery, but her climbing partner says she's in good spirits and was even cracking jokes and laughing just 24 hours after the accident. According to Outside, New Zealand's personal injury insurance program will cover most of Parsons' medical expenses once she's home. But in the meantime, her bills in the U.S. have hit more than $1 million.